Hey guys, Renee from Borgen Hunter Thrift Store here. Just leaving the office. It's been a long, long day. Sorry we haven't done videos for a while. I've just been super busy. So it's been like 10 days. So you guys know we're working on a deal where our company's being bought out, which um, looks like it's gonna happen. Anyway, I'll do a video on that more soon, as soon as it's a little bit more official. So, but um, we have some excellent comics in this stuff. We're getting ready to do a comic book release. Right now I'm filming this, it's Thursday. This video's coming out Friday. I'm trying to do a comic book release either Saturday or Sunday. And there's some really good stuff in there. We're separating pricing it. And most of the stuff will be two bucks. Also in this video later on, make sure to watch the end of the video because we're doing some regular unboxing too. And we're taking you back to some cups if you, so I'm 40, so if you're around your 50s, 40s and 50s, it'll take you back to your childhood like crazy. Meanwhile, like, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Also, tomorrow I got an eBay update video, a bunch of stuff that we sold on video, so watch that too. That was always fun, and you can learn stuff. So guys, this was one of the bags you saw in the videos where we're going through um, this quarter unit storage lockers, these brown bags, which is just full with comics. And I've seen some good stuff, so we'll go through it together. I've never went through this. It's actually been sitting back here. So another pile I need to look at. It's been sitting back here for months, so let's take a look at it. Oh, we'll separate some of the stuff that looks a little bit better. Old House of Mystery Comics. And there's one coming that you'll see in a second that's really good. Any questions? Check this out, Spider-Man number 26. He had 38 bucks on it. But then there's new stuff, the spirit. If you guys see stuff that um, I don't get excited about, but should be a really good book, let me know. Raggedy Ann. I usually just send these to Daryl, he loves these. Sampler. Laughing out loud. I like stuff like this. Famous World War II battles. It's a Batman all one down. Secret Hero Center City House of Mystery number 120. Kinky Hook. Hmm. Tales to Astonish number 12. That's number 59. It's a 12 size moment to say. Pretty book. Sky Caps. Supergirl. I'm just going through these fast Spider-Mans. So a lot of these will go to the next comic book release. World's Finest 219. Rubber stamps. This looks like stuff that probably just got bagged up in the store directly. Spectacular Spider Man stuff. So, you know, the stacks look boring, but remember when I showed that flash number one, the 1940s flash number one, it was in a stack just like this. And uh, except these are bags on board right here, they were ones um, with flash, they weren't, they were just stacked on top of each other loose. Three thirty-two. Then this bag. Three thirty-three. Nice if we pull out a little three hundred in here. A little bit harder to do with one hand.
a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Well, I mean, a lot of Spider-Man stuff, but like I said, it doesn't look like anything crazy exciting. We'll have some more boxes we'll do look in this video. I guess I'll make this a comic book video. So, I just pulled these out out of a box. I got, like... Looks like I got most of the run of Mr. Miracle. And these weren't these covers, we just put them in the covers. And five copies of this beauty. So I just picked these up right here. So Doc Savage number one. So these will be at the store. Sons of Satan's number ones. So you can see we're going through stuff. I'll show you more stuff. So we're trying to get another comic book release ready. Alright guys, here's a few more comics. So we're trying to do a release on Saturday for another 2,000 comics. So we just kind of... I had this a few times already, so I know that's a better book. This, these are nice, kind of rough. I love the artwork on them. This is all Star Wars. I'm not gonna go through all these. Most of these Star Wars I'll probably put out at two bucks a piece, so they'll be part of this. Um, this right here I've never seen before. I haven't even looked it up yet. The Man from Atlantis. It's a dollar book. I mean, dollar original price. Who? This is Transformer number ones. So the first time I released books, when I didn't really look them up, I sold these. Uh, I sold these um dollar ninety nine a piece. Oh actually this is not this is the movie. This is not the first transformer, never mind. And then I just pulled these. These obviously won't be dollar ninety nine. Boba Fett Star Wars. You've seen these Mr. Miracles. Let me put this aside. Then this whole box right here is Indiana Jones, Star Wars. So this is basically like sixty six through um Oh, there's some 45s. Oh, there's Captain America in here. Okay, I haven't looked at this. So I'm, I'm, apparently, there's a bunch of Captain Americas. Teen Titans. This is stuff I'm going to price tomorrow. A lot of this stuff will be $1.99. Some of it will be 5 bucks. Some of it will be 10 bucks. We'll announce the release probably Saturday. And we'll do the release Sunday. I think that's what I'm shooting for. Just to get more stuff priced. Like, I usually never try to do a release unless I got 2,000 bucks ready to go. This way, when people drive down, when people drive down, they, um, it's worth their while. Here's Mr. Murgles, number three. You can see every issue a whole bunch of times. Number twos. One and four seem to be the key issues in that book, which I already pulled. Some G.I. Joe, and this whole box pretty much. It's different to Mr. Miracle run. So if somebody wants to work on this run, they'll be really happy with this next release because they'll all be in the store. And I'm just skipping a few because I know every copy does like six, seven copies. So 
Yeah. So that's that. Let's go in the room next door, find a couple of boxes. Oh, here's another box. Oops. These are all Conans. I guess they're Conan of Apparian number 43. And most of them are like 85, 102. They seem like in the, in the hundreds. So all this stuff will be out. And a bunch more stuff that we're pricing. In the area, come on down. Okay, guys, here's a box directly from Diamond, from the Hoda house. I've never looked through this one. Um, I saw it was uh, Yuzagi. So, ah, uh, man, he had these pack tights with a little bentum, but they're all autographed by the author. They're the hardback books. People actually asked me on eBay because we listed a bunch of the, uh, the signed comic books. So we will um, probably list these two. Looks like they're all signed by the author. Oh, these are messed up right here. Not signed. Signed. That looks like all these are signed. Santa graphics book. Cutter. Oh, yeah, all signed. But these books over here seem to be straight. That's good. A couple of these have bends in them. But still, let's see. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 19, 25 of these books. So that's a good little score. Another diamond box. So, like, literally, he had a garage shed. So you see what's in these boxes. And there were like, I have hundreds of these boxes. And they're just full. Some of it is garbage. Some of it is good. Like Norman Rockwell collector cards. Uh, not that impressed. Scotch tape. Super exciting. These are buttons for... Well, carry. So these are those Japanese Bandai fighters. North Cross. They're probably cool. Probably should bring a couple bucks a piece. We usually put these out in the store. A blank VHS tape. Actually, guys, here's a little eBay tip. These actually start, people start buying these. If you can get a bunch of these, put them in lots of get a people buying. Why? I have no idea, but they do. Um, these are buttons and stickers, 1979. These are Oswald, 1980. It's that box right there. A Wolverine. Kind of cool retail. Pokemon thing. Kind of Batman cards. Let's see what's underneath here. Oh, okay, we see something. See something good? Okay, we'll go down in a second. Some kind of ledger. Wonder if that's daily sales. That was fun to read other people's sales. Tools, tools, more cards. Okay, so what's underneath here? Check these out. These are cups. Nick Furry. 7-Eleven cups. I just spoke with somebody about these. Gary Cooper. Rosemary. Mr. Fantastic. These are copyrighted 1975. I think all these are worth like at least five bucks a piece, Quicksilver. I have some bigger ones too. These are actually the small ones. Hercules, the Champions, Star Wars, 1977. It's right when it came out. Black Widow. So actually, this box just went really good. Dracula. Nighthawk, Jaws. Let's see, we're gonna have to look at the... So these will come in the store too. By the time this video is out, these will be in the store. Either in the store or on our eBay, but probably these are gonna go in the store. There's another one. Let's see what these are. The Supremes. Howard the Duck, 
can read that. Captain America, the mummy. Major League Baseball, Kansas City. Kansas City. Philadelphia, Tuck McGraw. Craig Needles. Kansas City. That's cool little stuff. There's one more row, but it looks like the same type of thing. So that was a cool box. Let me see if there's another box we can go through. Check this one out. A few months before I was born. DC calendar. It's kind of cool. It's actually a really cool calendar. 1976. Cool stuff. All right, I think that's it for this video. I might show some more books at home. I don't know. We'll see.